Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a basic rhinestoned pen. If you are new to rhinestoning, this is a fantastic beginner project. You can get one of these done in just a couple of hours, and if you mess up, it's just a pen that you can try again on another one. Blinging a pen is also a great way to learn the honeycomb method. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you how to bling a tumbler, and in that video, I used what we call the scatter method, which is where the stones all fit together, but they're placed more randomly. The honeycomb method follows a specific pattern where each row of rhinestones nestles into the spaces between the rhinestones in the row above it. I find it more satisfying to follow a specific pattern, everything looks neat and tidy, but it is a little bit easier to mess up if you make a mistake. There are tons of different patterns and complicated things you can do with pens, but today we're just doing a solid color in a nice, neat honeycomb pattern. Let's do it! For this project, you're going to need a pen, rhinestone adhesive, rhinestones, sandpaper, rubbing alcohol, a wax pencil or other rhinestone picker-upper, a tray or container, and a precision tip bottle. It's best to use a refillable pen so that you can keep using it when the ink runs out. I bought these pens thinking they were refillable and they are not, but the rhinestoning process is the same, so it's fine. My pen has a plastic clip on it. On some pens, you can just kind of bend it out of the way and rhinestone under it if you want to keep the clip on the pen, but I don't want mine, so I'm just going to carefully break it off and sand it down. I snapped off the clip and I'm left with this plastic nub sticking out, and to sand it down, you need some force, so I find it's easiest to place the sandpaper on the table and then push the pen down against it. Keep checking it as you go to make sure you're not sanding too far. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna cover it with rhinestones anyway. You just want the surface to be relatively smooth and even. Next, you need to sand the rest of the pen's surface to rough it up, which will give better attachment with the rhinestones. Be careful not to sand the areas that you won't be covering with rhinestones or you'll leave visible scratches on it. If you're using a pen that's refillable, make sure you take note of how it unscrews so that you can leave that area unsanded and not cover it with rhinestones. Once you have the pen all sanded, give it a wipe with some alcohol, which will remove the dust and any other dirt or oil that's on the pen so that we're gluing on a nice clean surface. And now you're ready to start applying your rhinestones. I get most of my rhinestones from AliExpress because they're super cheap, and that's where I got these pink ones. These are in the color Light Rose AB, and they're in the size SS10. You can use smaller ones or even a little bit bigger. They just need to all be the same size for the honeycomb method to work. My favorite glue is Gem Tack by the brand Beacon. It dries slowly, which gives you a little more working time to adjust things. I got it on Amazon and it's also available at craft stores. I transfer it into a precision tip bottle for more control. My wax pencil is from Sheen and it was literally a dollar and I like it way better than the fancy $12 one I got on Amazon. It comes flat and you just sharpen it like a pencil. I like to start off at the writing side of the pen and again, you just wanna double check if your pen is refillable that you don't cover any parts that need to unscrew. Your first row is very important because it's going to set up your guide for the honeycomb pattern. You'll be building everything off this first row, so it's very important for it to be straight and have even spacing. You're going to start with a thin line of glue and place your stones all the way around the pen. Depending on the size of your stones, you may need to leave a tiny bit of space between each stone, or they might all sit tightly together. Just make sure that there is an even amount of space between each stone around the pen. My final gap was a little bit big, but it was too small to fit two stones, so then I went around and adjusted the spacing between each stone to make them all even. Make sure none of the stones are placed too high or too low. You want them all perfectly side by side. Once your first row looks good, you can add another thin line of glue just below it, and you want to place each stone in the gaps between the stones in the row above it. This is what's going to create that honeycomb pattern. 
If your first row is spaced properly, you should be able to just put a stone in every space and it will line up perfectly as well. Then you're going to repeat this in the third row, putting the stones in the spaces between the stones in the row above it. They'll line up directly with the stones in the first row. Repeat this again in the fourth row, and they will line up directly with the stones in the second row. You're going to keep doing this pattern all the way down the pen. As long as your first row spacing was good, you won't have to think too hard about the rest of the pen. This is my final row of stones and everything is still lined up perfectly even. Make sure you really take the time to get that first row perfect and the rest of the pen will be a breeze. As you can see, there are some visible white spots where the glue is overflowing through the cracks between the rhinestones. Those spots will dry completely clear and you won't notice them at all. You don't want your whole pen to be a mess of glue, but you also don't want to use too little or your stones will fall off easily. You'll get a feel for the right amount to apply as you go. When I let my pens dry, I like to stand them up against something just to be safe. And here is the final product. These come together so quickly and they make really great gifts. And they're an awesome way to get some practice in and to use up some leftover rhinestones that you only have a small amount of. If you make a rhinestone pen, please tag me in your photos. I would love to see them. So once your pen is done, you want to make sure you let it cure for at least seven days. That's just going to make sure your stones are really on there and you're not going to lose any. After those seven days, you can take a little nail brush like this or a vegetable brush and give your pen a good scrub with a gentle soap. And that's going to remove any residue that might be left over from your wax or any glue residue and to make your rhinestones nice and shiny. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to see more rhinestoning tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next. See you later.